Hi, I am Manshu Singh, co-author of Bitsat Study Guide and co-founder of DoPrep. In this session, we'll be looking at how we can go about preparing for Bitsat 2019. First, we'll have a brief look at what is Bitsat. Bitsat is an online examination which has been taking place since 2005. Via this examination, we get admission to Pilani, Hyderabad, Goa and Dubai campuses. Recently, BITS Pilani Institute had been included in the top six Indian institutes of eminence recognized by the government. And in India, it was ranked fourth among engineering colleges by India Today. A 2012 report showed that BITSAT had become more competitive than the IITJ in terms of the ratio of the number of aspirants to the number of seats available. And since 2011, the importance of this examination among the applicants has been increasing steadily. And we can have a look at the numbers. It has increased to 2,50,000 in 2018. So how is Bitset different from J Main? So in J Main, there are a total of 90 questions which we have to answer in a time period of three hours. But in BITSAT, there is a total number of 150 questions. Also, in BITSAT, there is a section which belongs to English and logical reasoning questions, whereas in JE, there is none. The questions that appear in BITSAT are direct and formula-based and are not as complex as that in JE main. The, there is a very high cutoff, which is in the range of 280 plus out of a total score of 450. Whereas in J-Main, the cutoff lies in the range of 80 to 110 marks. Because of which, the negative marks have a huge impact on the overall score as well as rank. And there is one more extra section and that section is of bonus questions which is present in BITSAT but is not present in J-Main examination. So generally, when we start preparation for BITSAT, there are few questions that comes in the mind of every student. So a student asks himself, how do I prepare for BITSAT then? As, an, as the student has been more focused on J main till now. So the answer to this question is very simple. The chapters and the concepts and the fundamental concepts that is present in J main is the same as that is required for BITSAT. The only difference in the approach is on what type of questions we are practicing and how deeply have we understood the concepts of each and every chapter in terms of memory as well as in terms of formula application. The next question that a student has in his mind is from when do I start the preparation? Well, the answer to that question is start as early as possible at least 60 days before the main BITSAT examination. And how do I cover the syllabus in such a short period of time? Well, you will get the answer to this question very shortly in this video itself. So if the examination is so different, is the learning material also different? No, the learning material is the same. The only difference lies in the questions difficulty. How can I plan my study without panicking? Well, you'll get the answer ahead in this video. How do I know that I am on the right track or not. For that, we will tell you how to plan your study and how to do a follow-up on the plan that you created. The next question with the students have generally, and this is a more, very important question. The student generally says that, I do not score good in J main test. Can I still crack bit set? Oh, well, yes, you can. Because these both of these examinations test your different skills. J main, tests your application in complex problems, whereas BITSAT tests your speed 
and accuracy and the questions are very direct and formula based apart from those questions the most important questions before anyone starts preparation for bits set is how badly do you want to get into bits campus well if you want it that badly then let us start scheduling a total number of 59 chapters including mathematics physics and chemistry is present in the bits set syllabus out of which 26 chapters are there in mathematics 18 chapters in physics and 15 chapters in chemistry a total of 10 chapters are there in english and logical reasoning section so how do i complete 69 chapters in 60 days which includes revision as well as taking mock tests the answer to this question is scheduling why is it important because scheduling is nothing other than creating a study plan if you create a study plan it helps in creating a time chart of your current activities so creating a time chart which allow you to see how you spend your day from day to day scheduling helps in actually determining the available days and times for studying which we can mark in our planner or calendar it helps in determining the study goals so at the beginning of each week if we determine what we are going to study and how we are going to accomplish it it becomes much easier stick to your schedule a study plan works best if it is allowed on a consistent basis and last and the most important part of it is strategize for effective follow through one way to ensure you follow through with your plan is to schedule time for other activities we need to blend our other activities with our study activity now let us create a sample schedule so let's suppose that we have 60 days within which we have to complete the we have to complete the bit set syllabus we have to revise we have to take mock tests and finally we have to go and take the actual examination so let us break it down into 28 days of learning 28 days of testing and improvement and 2 days of relaxation before the final examination so this 28 days of learning can now be divided into week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 similarly the 28 days of testing and improvement can be divided into four weeks and the two days of relaxation so let us start by looking at the weeks of learning in week 1 let us suppose that i have planned to complete 15 chapters how do i choose this 15 chapters we have to choose it very judiciously and realistically so that we can complete it within one week right so a total number of 9 minimum of 9 hours per day is available for us that is around 63 hours on a weekly basis so in 63 hours we have to complete six mathematics chapters three chemistry chapters and four physics chapters and within each chapter we have to do a theoretical study of that chapter we have to make formula sheets of that chapter we have to practice questions from that chapter in addition we have to analyze our weak and strong areas and also we have to improve so we can do that on each and every day starting from day 1 to day number 6 on day number 7 we have to give a revision test 
of all the chapters that we have completed on that week as well as the cumulative chapters we have completed till date. Now let us have a look at the weeks of testing and improvement. In week 1, we have to answer 3 full length mock tests. So let us start from day 1. We have to take a full length mock test similar to the difficulty level of BITSAT. This mock test has to be taken in a similar environment, in a test like 3R condition and we have to analyze our performance after giving the test. So in this analysis, we need to make a list of the chapters we, you need to focus and list down all the probable reasons for losing marks which can be avoided in the next test, like silly mistakes. Now, on day two, we start working on these two things. We start working on the chapters. We start working on the revision of those chapters which needs our attention. And we start working on how not to commit silly mistakes. Then on day three, we take another full length test. We do an analysis again and compare the improvements vis-a-vis -vis the previous test and also make a list as to why this improvement has occurred. And if no improvement has occurred, we have to ask the question why we could not do this improvement. So in this way, we can proceed for each and every week till our course gets completed, our revision gets handled, taken care of, as well as improvement and taking mock tests get cared of. But what happens if the problem still persists? That is, if I am not able to follow the schedule, I am not able to improve, I do not like studying a subject, and I am completely stressed out. In this condition, we have to change ourselves. So, what do we do for changing ourselves? We start noticing and try changing our attitude towards our study plan and our behavior while studying. Beware of the student syndrome. Stop procrastination. Do not delay in completing a task. Most of us develop this habit in our st student time itself. We have to stop avoiding challenges. So if I do not like a subject, it does not mean that I'll ignore it. We have to start taking up a challenge and start studying a chapter or a subject which we do not like. Obstacles. So we have to persist in the face of setbacks. Even if I do not improve after a particular test, I keep on practicing till I start improving. I keep on putting in effort. We study for at least nine hours a day three hours for each subject. Keep on doing this at least for 14 days. The results will be there. Learn from your mistakes and feedback on your performance. Know where you stand and interact with your fellow aspirants, experts and mentors. Try to learn from others' success as well as the feedback which you get from others. All these attitude pointers will help you in improving, in overcoming the problems that you are facing. Well, now let us have a look at the general tips for BITSAT. 
we have to keep in mind that bit set tests our speed and accuracy. So we'll have to increase both. And for increasing both, we have to calculate the answers without calculators. Start preparation by taking a full length mock test. Know where you are currently so that you can actually plan which chapters you would like to do in week one and how you would like to proceed in creating the complete plan for 60 days. Remember, BITSAT is a competitive examination. The selection is at a marks of 300. So answer a minimum of 100 questions correctly and you are through. So do not even worry about the bonus questions. Think about answering those 100 questions correctly without scoring any negative marks in those 100 questions. Once you have done that, then you can think about completing the remaining of the paper or even attempting the bonus questions. Last and the most important part is do not forget NCRT books. What happens is that while studying for JE Main and JE Advanced, we do not give importance to the NCRT books. So, but for this examination, NCRT books is a must. We need to complete that before we go to any other reference book. Just keep on doing. So start scheduling, create a study plan, follow it without fail. Keep all the tips that is required for BITSAT while preparation answer only those questions which have the same difficulty level as that which come in actual bit set and then success is yours a very big thanks from wiley and duprep your friend and mentor